Our oceans are in peril. They are drowning in a sea of plastic. We produce millions of tons of plastic every year. Much of it ends up in our oceans. This waste doesn't just disappear, it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. This plastic is now found in every corner of the ocean, from the surface to the deepest trenches. Plastic is a threat to all marine life. Animals get entangled in plastic debris. They mistake it for food and ingest it. This plastic fills their stomachs, leading to starvation. Sea turtles, for example, often mistake plastic bags for jellyfish. This simple mistake can be fatal. The plastic blocks their digestive system, causing a slow and painful death. Imagine a whale, its massive body caught in discarded fishing nets. This is the reality for many marine animals. They struggle to break free, often dying from exhaustion or injury. The plastic pollution crisis is a stark reminder of our impact on the planet. The problem of plastic pollution is vast and complex. It's a global crisis that demands our immediate attention. Plastic waste travels across borders, carried by currents to the most remote corners of the ocean. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a stark example of this global crisis. This massive collection of plastic debris, twice the size of Texas, floats in the North Pacific gyre. It's a swirling vortex of our own making, a testament to our throwaway culture. But this is just one of many such garbage patches in our oceans. Microplastics, tiny particles of plastic less than 5 millimeters in size, are now found in our seafood. They contaminate our water sources and even the air we breathe. The plastic problem is a symptom of a larger issue, our unsustainable relationship with the planet. The good news is that we can all be part of the solution. Every action we take, no matter how small, can make a difference. We must reduce our reliance on single-use plastics. Simple changes in our daily lives can have a significant impact. We can choose reusable bags, bottles, and containers. We can support businesses that are committed to reducing plastic waste. And we can educate ourselves and others about the problem. By working together, we can turn the tide on plastic pollution. It's time to hold ourselves, our communities, and our leaders accountable. The future of our oceans, and indeed our planet, depends on it. Plastic waste finds its way into the ocean from various sources. Much of it begins its journey on land. Our cities, towns, and even our homes are major contributors. We use countless plastic products every day. Food packaging, bottles, bags, and containers are just a few examples. Often, this plastic waste is not disposed of properly. It ends up in landfills, where it can take hundreds of years to decompose. Rain and wind carry this plastic from landfills into rivers and streams. These waterways act as conveyor belts, transporting the plastic debris downstream. Coastal communities also contribute to the problem. Plastic waste is often left behind on beaches by beachgoers. Fishing gear, discarded or lost at sea, adds to the plastic load in the ocean. Once plastic enters the ocean, it embarks on a long and perilous journey. Currents carry it far and wide, spreading the problem across the globe. The ocean, once a pristine and thriving ecosystem, is now a plastic soup. As plastic travels through the ocean, it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. Sunlight, waves, and marine life contribute to this fragmentation process. This process creates microplastics, which pose a particularly insidious threat. These tiny plastic particles are easily ingested by marine life, from small plankton to large whales. They can accumulate in the food chain, ultimately reaching our plates. The ocean is a shared resource, vital to all life on Earth. It provides us with food, oxygen, and regulates our climate. Yet we treat it as a dumping ground, jeopardizing its health and our own. The plastic problem is not just an environmental issue, it's a social, economic, and ethical one. It affects coastal communities, tourism, and fisheries. It undermines the health of our planet and future generations. We can no longer ignore the plastic choking our oceans. 
We must act individually and collectively to address this crisis. The ocean connects us all. It's time to recognize our shared responsibility to protect it. For marine animals, the ocean is becoming a deadly trap. Plastic waste in all its forms poses a grave threat to their survival. Entanglement in plastic debris is a common and heartbreaking sight. Animals become entangled in fishing nets, plastic bags, and six-pack rings, restricting their movement and ability to feed. Imagine a whale, its massive body entangled in a discarded fishing net. The weight of the net drags it down, making it difficult to swim and reach the surface for air. The struggle to break free can cause severe injuries, infections, and even death. Sea turtles, known for their long migrations, often mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, a staple in their diet. Swallowing these bags can block their digestive system, leading to a slow and painful death from starvation. Seabirds, too, are victims of this plastic plague. Microplastics, tiny particles of plastic less than 5 millimeters in size, pose an insidious threat to marine life. These particles, often too small to be seen with the naked eye, are easily ingested by a wide range of marine animals. From microscopic plankton to large filter feeders like whales, microplastics are now found in the digestive systems of countless marine species. These tiny plastic particles can accumulate in the food chain. Smaller fish consume microplastics, and these fish are then eaten by larger predators, leading to a buildup of plastic in the food web. This accumulation can have detrimental effects on the health of marine organisms, affecting their growth, reproduction, and immune systems. The impact of microplastics is not limited to marine life. These tiny particles have been found in seafood consumed by humans, raising concerns about potential health risks. Plastic pollution is a silent killer, its impact often unseen and underestimated. Marine animals, already facing threats from climate change, overfishing, and habitat destruction, are now grappling with the added burden of plastic waste. The ingestion of plastic can lead to a slow and agonizing death for many creatures. Sea turtles, for instance, often mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, a staple in their diet. Ingesting these bags can block their digestive system, leading to starvation. The plastic creates a false sense of fullness, preventing the turtles from consuming real food. They become weak, lethargic, and eventually die. Seabirds, too, suffer a similar fate. Attracted to the smell of plastic, they often mistake small plastic pellets for fish eggs. They then feed these pellets to their young, filling their stomachs with indigestible plastic. Plastic pollution is not just a threat to individual marine animals, it's disrupting entire ecosystems. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, are particularly vulnerable to plastic pollution. These vibrant ecosystems, home to a quarter of all marine species, are being suffocated by plastic waste. Plastic debris can smother coral reefs, blocking sunlight and preventing them from getting the oxygen they need to survive. The plastic can also leach harmful chemicals into the water, further damaging the delicate coral polyps. This damage to coral reefs has cascading effects on the entire marine ecosystem. Fish that rely on coral reefs for food and shelter lose their habitat, disrupting the food chain and impacting the livelihoods of communities that depend on fishing. The loss of coral reefs also reduces the ocean's ability to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, exacerbating the effects of climate change. Plastic pollution isn't just a problem for marine life, it's a problem for our planet's health. As plastic breaks down in the ocean, it doesn't truly disappear. Instead, it releases harmful chemicals into the water. These chemicals, such as BPA and phthalates, are known endocrine disruptors, meaning they can interfere with the hormone systems of animals, including humans. These chemicals can accumulate in the food chain. Small organisms ingest the chemicals, and then larger predators consume these organisms, leading to a buildup of toxins. This process, known as biomagnification, 
can have serious consequences for the health of marine life and ultimately for humans who consume seafood. The long-term effects of these chemicals on human health are still being studied, but they are a cause for serious concern. The plastic pollution crisis is not just an environmental disaster, it's also a social and economic one. Coastal communities, many of which rely on tourism and fishing for their livelihoods, are bearing the brunt of this crisis. Beaches once pristine and inviting are now littered with plastic debris, deterring tourists and impacting local economies. Fishermen are finding it increasingly difficult to catch fish, as their nets come up filled with plastic instead of their intended catch. The livelihoods of millions of people who depend on the ocean are being threatened by our addiction to plastic. The economic costs of plastic pollution are staggering. The global cost of marine plastic pollution is estimated to be billions of dollars annually. This includes the cost of cleaning up beaches, compensating fishermen for lost catches, and addressing the health impacts of plastic pollution. The plastic pollution crisis is not just an environmental problem, it's a threat to global food security. The ocean is a vital source of protein for billions of people worldwide, particularly in coastal communities and developing countries. However, the plastic choking our oceans is jeopardizing this vital food source. As plastic debris accumulates in the ocean, it is ingested by marine life, including fish and shellfish that end up on plates. Microplastics, in particular, are a growing concern, as they can accumulate in the food chain, potentially ending up in the seafood we consume. The health consequences of consuming seafood contaminated with plastic are still being investigated, but they are undoubtedly a cause for concern. We are drowning in plastic. It's in our oceans, our food, and even our bodies. This crisis is a symptom of our throwaway culture, our insatiable appetite for convenience and single-use products. We've become accustomed to a world where plastic is ubiquitous, from the packaging of our food to the clothes we wear. But this convenience comes at a steep price. The sheer volume of plastic waste we generate is staggering. We produce over 300 million tons of plastic every year, and much of it ends up in our oceans. At this rate, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by weight by 2050, a sobering and disturbing prediction. The plastic pollution crisis may seem overwhelming, but there is hope. We have the power to turn the tide on this global challenge. Reducing our reliance on single-use plastics is paramount. Opt for reusable bags, water bottles, and coffee cups. Say no to plastic straws, cutlery, and packaging whenever possible. Support businesses committed to reducing plastic waste. Our choices drive demand for eco-friendly products and practices. Addressing the plastic pollution crisis requires a global effort from individuals, communities, and governments. International cooperation is essential as plastic waste knows no borders. Strengthening waste management systems in developing countries is crucial. Investing in infrastructure for proper waste collection and recycling is essential. Promoting extended producer responsibility can incentivize sustainable packaging design. Bans or levies on single-use plastics have proven effective. These measures encourage consumers to shift towards reusable alternatives. Public awareness campaigns educate citizens and empower responsible choices. Addressing plastic pollution is a matter of social justice, economic stability, and global health. It's about protecting our planet for future generations. In the face of this global challenge, it's easy to feel overwhelmed to believe that our individual actions are insignificant. But the truth is, every action counts. Every piece of plastic refused, every reusable bag chosen, every piece of trash picked up from the beach makes a difference. Never underestimate the power of your own example. When you make sustainable choices, you inspire those around you to do the same. Talk to your family and friends about the issue. Share your concerns, your knowledge, and your commitment to reducing plastic waste. 
participate in beach cleanups or organize one in your community. Support organizations working to combat plastic pollution through donations or volunteering your time. Advocate for change in your local government, urging them to implement policies that promote plastic reduction and responsible waste management. Remember, the ocean connects us all. It's a shared resource that sustains us, inspires us, and deserves our protection. Let's be the generation that turns the tide on plastic pollution, that chooses a future where the ocean thrives, teeming with life, not plastic. We stand at a critical juncture, facing a choice that will determine the fate of our oceans. The plastic pollution crisis has cast a long shadow over the marine world, but it's not too late to change course. The ocean, vast and resilient, has endured for millennia. It's a source of life and inspiration. It connects us all and sustains us. It's our responsibility to protect this precious resource. The legacy we leave behind will be determined by the choices we make today. The future of our oceans, and indeed our planet, depends on our collective action. We must move beyond awareness to action, embracing a sense of urgency and shared responsibility. Let's be the generation that chooses a blue future, a future where the ocean teems with life, not plastic. Embrace the power of your individual choices. Refuse single-use plastics whenever possible, opting for reusable alternatives. Support businesses and organizations that prioritize sustainability and plastic reduction. Educate yourself and others about the issue, spreading awareness and inspiring action. Together, we can make a difference. Let's be the generation that turns the tide on plastic pollution, ensuring that future generations inherit a world where the ocean thrives, a source of wonder, sustenance, and life for all. Let our legacy be one of action, responsibility, and a deep love for the blue heart of our planet.